Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today we will be unboxing and testing Sun Off temperature and humidity monitoring Wi-Fi switch. Let's dive into the unboxing now. There is two model, TH16 and TH10. We are going with TH16 and the sensor that we will be using is SI7021. The sensor connects to the switch using 2.4mm audio connector. Removing the cover will reveal where the input and output power cable is to be connected. Insert the cable to the input section, one line and one neutral while pushing the clip. Make sure the power is off while doing this. Now switch on the main power. The device will power up and you will see blinking blue light near the Wi-Fi symbol. Go to the eWe Link app in your mobile phone. Click on Add Device and then Quick Pairing. Make sure you are connected to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, since the device does not support 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Input your Wi-Fi details and submit. Wait for the device to be discovered and added. After adding the device to the room of your choice, you can see it is showing the temperature and humidity. New firmware notification is popping up, it's better to update the device to the latest firmware. You can toggle the switch on and off from the app, the switch output can be connected to any device like light, fan etc. Maximum ampere supported is 15. You can create a scene where you want to switch on the connected device when the temperature or humidity reaches certain point. Just to make sure the sensor is working, 
I covered the sensor with my hand and you can see the temperature is rising. The device does not support control over LAN. Let's suppose you don't want the control and data to be in eWe Link server in cloud. What can you do? There is a third-party firmware Tasmato which can be used over LAN. To flash the SunOff switch with Tasmato firmware we will be needing a USB RS-232 converter and jumper wires. I was not able to get the jumper wires, so making use of what is available, the proper way to connect the USB with the switch, one very important thing to keep in mind is not to connect the switch to the main power while doing this. The switch will draw the power from the USB which will be connected to the computer, connecting to the main outlet might damage your switch and computer. There are multiple ways to do this, I will be using Tasmatizer software for Windows, download the firmware from GitHub, links to both the software and firmware is mentioned in the description below. After flashing the firmware connect to the Tasmato Wi-Fi network, it will take you the page where you need to select the network you want it to be connected, select the network and enter the password. The device will reboot and will connect to your network. Open the page using the IP. As of now you can only toggle the switch on and off, the temperature and humidity will show once you add the sensor module. For this go to configuration and select the module type and select the sensor model. The device will reboot. And now you will be able to see the temperature and humidity readings. Hope this video was helpful. Please do subscribe, like, share and comment.